what's up guys how are you today in this tutorial we're gonna build a beautiful chatbot using ChatGPT, ChatGPT api and swift and swift ui for ios and this is our app uh, and so uh, we're gonna try i'm gonna show it uh, the functionality to you and then we jump into the coding so let's get started we're gonna use what is the best programming language okay we send it there is no best programming language different programming language or better see it yeah you see the uh, chat gpt answer us and then answer the qu qu our question and we say another question how are you today like simple one i'm feeling good today okay nice so jump into the coding uh we start with the clean uh project on uh, xcode you can build a you can create a new project and then follow along with me so we add a new file new swift file and we're gonna name it open ai open ai connector okay nice so in here we do some coding here first of all uh this file is uh, gonna connect our app to ChatGPT api or open, open api so uh let's create a public function first public class sorry class name open api open ai connector okay then we have a variable of let open ai url open ai url URL equal to URL and the string and our string will be this one I copy and paste it api.openapi.com slash version one slash engines slash text of in chi 002 and completion okay nice and we have a variable of open AI API key. API key. okay nice and the string that has a variable of return this one you can use uh, you have to use your own api key and i'm gonna show it to you let me see where is my browser okay here you hit to the platform.openapi.com and account slash api keys and generate a and create a new secret key and then you are good to go and copy and paste the code here and um, i'm gonna say add your open ai api key to run this project okay after that we have a private function of private function execute request yeah and we have some parameters here and request that is the URL request and with session config config and session config of URL session configuration. Session configuration it's uh, optional data and we have a return of type optional data. So this is our parameters. Let's head to the function. Okay. We have a let semaphore equals to dispatch dispatch semaphore and we have a value of zero and let session is a type of URL session okay and if we have if here if session config not equal to nil okay we have a session equal to url session and then configuration session config okay and if the session config equals to nil you have else else session equal to url session dot shaped okay nice so I think 
yep this is optional value okay nice uh, we have a variable of request data here equal to the type of data optional and we have a let of task equal to session dot data task with request as url request and complication handler so we have a json type data and we have a data of type data optional and response of url response also optional and again we have error of type error option okay and it returns to us a void in okay and now we have an if error not equal to nil so we have print error and string manipulation with error localization not localized description okay nice and then we have this and again a string manipulation error and localize description okay nice and if else if data not equal to nil we have request data equals to request data equals to date okay nice and if nothing happens here we have print semaphore signaled okay and semaphore dot signal signal let me see we have an error here so this one and okay this one okay i don't know let me check here Okay, with request as request completion handler okay nine we have this and okay this is a okay nice we have it there and task that resume here okay then we have here a function and uh, we have some code that handle async with semaphores next rate of 10 seconds okay now let timeout equals to dispatch time but now plus dot seconds 20 and print waiting for semaphore signal and we have a let rate well equals to semaphore dot wait timeout timeout and print done waiting obtained and we have a string manipulation of okay nice and at the end we return request it okay we have our function here and again we have another function after that of public function process prompt that um, have a parameter of prompt a string and uh, it returns an optional string okay let's do it so here we have url stuff and we have a variable of request 
equals to URL request with the URL of self.openai URL explanation mark request that HTTP method equals to post request that add value we have application JSON and for HTTP header field it is the content content type okay nice and after that we have request that add value to it we have a bearer and self self dot open API key and for this we have authorization so nice so <clears throat> what we do here we add some value to our HTTP header request uh, we said to the content type uh, let me see content type uh, to application JSON and we author uh, add uh, our API key to authorization that to build the API authorize us to uh, generate our answer for us we have a let HTTP body HTTP body that has the array of a string and any okay it's equal to prompt and prompt and max token max tokens equal to 150 okay you can add more vari uh, variables and and whatever you like based on this let me see API reference here yeah. you have compilation you have uh, fields here you can prompt suffix max so can we add it there temperature top P you can add it all to here but so we don't use it uh, in this tutorial so the two of this is okay for us and we have a bar of HTTP body JSON equals to data type of data sorry and we have a do HTTP body JSON equals to try JSON serialization dot data with JSON HTTP body and option dot pretty printed okay nice and after the do we have a catch like always we have print of unable 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 to convert to JSON and we have error here print the error and return email okay after the do cache block we have a request dot HTTP body equals to HTTP body JSON and we have if let request data request data request data equals to execute request request equals request and session config it's nil okay and we have a let of JSON str equals to a string and data request data and encoding string encoding raw value string dot encoding dot utf8 dot raw value. and we have explanation mark here and then again print json is here okay we have something to do here so uh, here we have uh, return nil okay so we have something to do here but first of all we have to create a new file a submissive file of openai response response handler okay so in this we can uh, 
uh, uh, we can uh, we have to uh, create some structs and then based on the JSON that return back we can use the data that return back to us from ChatGPT API okay we have some bunch of structs we have struct of OpenAI response handler okay and we have a function here equal JSON equal JSON yeah JSON string JSON string here of type of a string and then open AI response we don't create it yet so let's create the open AI response Okay, we have a struct <coughs> name OpenAI response. That is uh, codable. Okay, we have a variable of ID. This is a string. Then we have a variable of object. Also a string. We have a variable of created. We have a type of int variable model string and variable choices of type of struct of choice so let's create a choice struct struct choice that is codable also a variable of text here string a variable of index index of int a variable of log props and this optional string and we are ready well of finish <coughs> reason and we have a string okay nice so here we can use our open API response here and in this function we have a let json equals to json string dot data using dot utf8 <coughs> and there's explanation mark here let's decoder calls to json decoder so we have a do catch block here let product equals to try decoder dot decode open ai response dot self data from json okay, and return product here okay we have a catch after the do block and print error decoding decoding open ai open ai open api response okay after that we can return nil <coughs> so that is our open ai response handler so we head back to the our open ai connector and then we use it here let response handler equals to open ai open ai response handler yeah and return response handler dot decode json and we have a json string and after that we have optional value dot choices index of zero dot text okay nice we have it all there so uh before we creating our ui uh, our backend or our uh, connector to the open ai api is finished so we jump into the a a ui design uh, uh before we jump into the uh ui design we have to create some extension here so oh, let me name that mm -hmm. Okay, so we have extend file name extensions here. Okay, we can delete this one, and here we import foundation. Okay, and post with your eyes. So, uh, we have a struct, a struct of beautiful, beautiful text field of view type and binding or text here type of a string 
Here we have a let's placeholder. Of string. And we have a let of corner radius of CG float. Okay. And we have an init function. And we have it here. And it is a 10. CG float equals to 10. And placeholder the string and binding string. Here is binding string. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So we have a var of body, some view. Okay. Here we have a Z stack of alignment that's leading and content. So if text in that is empty. We have a text of placeholder, placeholder, that foreground color, that's great. Okay, if it's not, we have a text field, and this one, and text, and text here, okay, not padding, that corner radius, corner radius, corner radius, and that overlay. In overlay, we have rounded rectangle, corner radius, corner radius equals to corner radius, corner radius, and a stroke color dot gray and line width. Okay, nice. And here we have a padding of dot horizontal. Horizontal. Okay. After that, we have a stroke. Beautiful text view, and we have view here also. Uh, <clears throat> we have some bunch of variables here. Let text string, let background color, background color of type of color. We have a let text color type of color, and we have a let corner radius. Type of CG float. Okay. We have init function here. And color equals uh, that's blue for default one, and this is that's white color text and color radius is equal to ten. Okay, nice. And here we have a var of body, and we have a text of text. Not padding, not background color, background color, background, also background color, yeah, and foreground color equals to text color, and corner radius equals to corner radius here, and shadow, dot shadow, yep, we have a color of that gray. And we have a radius of 5 and x equals to 0 and y equals to 2. Okay, let's head to the UI. That's the magic hub. Okay, <coughs> content view. I close this one and I wait for it to. Okay, we have a, pre a preview here so we can see our process. So, we have a bunch of variables from after that we have uh, at a state to private var messages an array of a string and equals to new and again at the state to var new message of set of a string equals to nil also and we have a sorry focus state private var Keyboard focus and it is a pull. Okay, and we have a value of let chat GPT equals to open AI connect. Okay, nice. So can delete all that and we have a VS tag 
and in the VSI you have the school view and here we have forage 0 to messages dot count divided by 2 and id equals to self okay and we have indexing okay we have a beautiful text view and we have a text here messages index multiply by 2 and here we have dot frame let me okay dot frame we have a max width of infinity dot infinity we have alignment it's not trailing okay and beautiful text view here of text we have messages index multiplied by two plus one and background color dot gray and also a frame of max infinite max width infinity and alignment dot leading okay. nice and here we have the we have a padding of a top twin okay after that we have edge stack here of beautiful beautiful text field and text should be new message and placeholder is type your message okay nice and that focus equals to keyboard focus here and on app here perform keyboard focus equals to true okay after that we have a function <coughs> we have a button sorry we have a button and action equals to send message we uh, after the Okay, and in that we have an image. Okay. A function of send message here. Let me see where I okay. We have this one. We should have this one. Okay. 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 Let's. Okay. Now the UI doing good here. Okay. So let me see. If I can okay, so we have an image here on the send. We can add it to um, our asset.x asset. Okay, this name is send, and this is a nice send button. Our button, we go to the content view again. Okay, and here we have an image name send dot resizable. Aspect ratio, aspect ratio, content mode dot fit, and frame width fifty, and height height of fifty. Okay, and that button style, button style, borderless button style. Okay, it's not showing there. There and here we have padding ten. It's not 
Okay, I must have spilled that soon. showing it to us let me check it again our button we have action here and here we can do something here and yeah we have image and here send resizable action action hmm, aspect ratio frame and button start borderless button stop okay we have send Here we have it right there, and this should be borderless. Borderless button stop. Okay, nice. We have it right there. Okay, so let's head to the function and the send message. If not, the message is empty. Messages not append. New message. Uh, Var but response response here we got get but response okay so for this one we have to create new function function get but response we can copy and paste it here and we have a four variable message here string and it returns a string here we have a for new message and for str in what response here and if str str equals to uh, enter we have what response let's remove first remove first yeah else we have a break here and after the four, we have messages. Dot append, bot response, and new message equals to empty. Okay, so hit to the get bot response. If let response equals to chat GPT. Dot process prompt, prompt will be message. Okay, we have return response. Here is pulse else we yeah, have return error try again okay nice so uh our right there so uh, our coding is done let's try it in iPhone 14 Pro Max um, if I think we don't miss anything and it will be function functional so uh, this is it you see this is very easy to build a chatbot with Swift and see if you are using ChatGPT API so we can test it right there and after that if it all thing is good we can see let me okay and here we have iPhone 14 Pro Max here so let's 
go to our uh, code and I explain it something to you. This is the for each will be shown as messages here. You just like contain the text field and the button here, and the function send messages straightforward, and the get res bot response is straightforward also. Uh, the, our message that we type here will be the prompt that we uh, that we give to the chat gpt api and it generates the response for us and the function return the response for us and after that uh, the, this response is equal to bot response here and if the first uh, we have some string manipulation here and so okay i think it's loaded here yeah okay so again what is the best programming language we sent it okay we have something wrong here and there is no okay we have it yeah there is no best programming language okay and we can how are you today I'm good how are you okay nice so uh, this is our tutorial i hope you like it if you like it hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to our ch to my channel every day i put a new tutorial a new amazing and functional app for you to create and enjoy it and see how exciting and wonderful that uh, programming walls are be so have a good day and thanks to, uh, for watching till the end i uh, hope you I hope you to see you I hope to see you sorry I hope you to see you in the next tutorial and have a good day